Today's question is, what is the sin unto death? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. And afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. First John chapter 5, verse 16 is one of the most difficult verses in the New Testament to interpret. If anyone sees his brother commit a sin that does not lead to death, he should pray and God will give him life. I refer to those whose sin does not lead to death. There is a sin that leads to death. I am not saying that he should pray about that. Of all the interpretations out there, none seem to answer all the questions concerning this verse. The best interpretation may be found by comparing this verse to what happened to Ananias and Sapphira in Acts chapter 5 verses 1 through 10. Also see 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 30. The sin unto death is willful, continuous, unrepentant sin. God has called his children to holiness, 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 16, and God corrects them when they sin. We are not punished for our sin in the sense of losing salvation or being eternally separated from God, yet we are disciplined. The Lord disciplines the one he loves, and he chastens everyone he accepts as his son, Hebrews chapter 12 verse 6. 1 John chapter 5 verse 16 says there comes a point when God can no longer allow a believer to continue in unrepentant sin. When that point is reached, God may decide to take the life of the stubbornly sinful believer. The death is physical death. God at times purifies his church by removing those who deliberately disobey him. The Apostle John makes a distinction between the sin that leads to death and the sin that does not lead to death. Not all sin in the church is dealt with the same way because not all sin rises to the level of the sin that leads to death. In Acts chapter 5 verses 1 through 10 and 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 28 through 32, God dealt with internal calculated sin in the church by taking the physical life of the sinner. This is perhaps also what Paul meant by the destruction of the flesh in 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 5. John says that we should pray for Christians who are sinning and that God will hear our prayers. However, there may come a time when God decides to cut short a believer's life due to unrepentant sin. Prayers for such an unheeding person will not be effective. God is good and just and will eventually make us a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 27. To further that end, God chastens his children. May the Lord preserve us from the hard heartedness that would cause us to commit the sin unto death. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There's one book I recommend along with several related articles. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or for interest in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, if you got questions, the Bible has answers and will help you find them.